Hello there, welcome to the first episode of Arcade with Alvin. Today I'll be taking a trip down memory lane and making the giant omelette from Neopets. If you recognize that introduction song just now, that's because it's from Fairy Bubbles, one of Neopets' greatest games. Neopets holds a very dear and special place in my heart growing up, so I thought it would be fun to revisit those days of childhood and youth. The giant omelette in Neopets is found in the Tyranian Plateau, and every day a player may approach the giant omelette and take a slice. The omelette you receive is quite random, chosen from a variety of omelettes, as this omelette has been sitting there for years, with hundreds of toppings inside. Sometimes you get a pretty normal omelette, and sometimes you get a wacky one. Which is why I'll be preparing a variety of different ingredients, such as cooking off these sausage patties here. Whoa, let's start spitting at me. I'm searing about three to four patties in a pan just until they're golden brown and chopping them up until they're small pieces. Up next, I'm going to be slicing some baby carrots down the middle. Baby carrots are found in some of the omelets given up by the giant omelet. And well, I, I was pretty much a baby when I played this, so... I do have some experience making giant omelets, so I'm going to say this one takes about 36 eggs. After individually cracking every single one into a bowl and not getting a single shell, good job Alvin, my weapon of choice to beat these eggs is an immersion blender with a pinch of salt. I found that with a large quantity of eggs, this is probably the best source of action. No streaks, just yellow. Now we're going to go to the stove. Into a giant paella pan, I'm throwing in a whole stick of butter. You know what they say, more butter, more better. Once the butter has melted and is slightly bubbling, I'm pouring in all of the eggs and cooking this omelette inspired by a French omelette technique. Over low heat, using a spatula to constantly stir the curds and make sure that nothing is sticking or browning. The giant omelette in Neopets is completely yellow on the outside, so I thought this would be the best course of action. After about 10 minutes of slowly stirring, folding, and coaxing the curds into a soft shape, I've decided that it's about 70% cooked and it's now time to cover with a lid to cook the rest of the way through. That's Steve. He says hi. At this point the heat is off, so I'm hoping that the residual heat will cook it through. But after lifting it up, it seems like this needs a little bit more help, so I'm just going to throw this in the oven at about 250 degrees for 5-10 to 10 minutes. As the omelette emerges, it is about 90% cooked through, which I think makes a perfect soft omelette. This omelette doesn't seem to be coming out so good. We're going to probably have to pivot and build the omelette in the pan. All right, here come the wacky ingredients. We got sausage going down, followed by a couple slices of pepperoni. Then I'm gonna go ahead and top that with the baby carrots, along with baby peas. And on the other half of the omelet, I'm laying down a couple slices of American cheese. And for that Neopets signature wacky ingredient, strawberry jam. I chose to represent four omelets from the giant omelet that you can get in one single swoop. And I'd like to think inside the giant omelet, everything is pretty much mashed together. Yeah, this ain't it, chief. What, 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 the, why, why are the eggs green? So either I didn't add enough butter to the pan or, or folding a gigantic 36 egg omelet over itself is too much of a task for little old me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat to make myself feel better while I rethink my battle plan. Hey, it's pretty good. All right, that's it. That's the show. See you guys next time. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. All right, new plan. Instead of making the giant omelet from the plateau, I'm gonna make four flavors of omelets that I think represent the game in its best, separately, but together. Here's what I mean. I'm once again cracking a ton of eggs, but this time only 20. Same course of action, immersion blender salt until we get nice and yellow every way through. Instead of cooking this in a pan over a stove where things might stick and not come off, I'm gonna take an old book out of my hat. I'm gonna pour all of these eggs onto a silpat lined sheet tray and very carefully transfer this to the oven. If you drop it, that's, that's minus 5,000 meal point. I can't afford that right now. The oven is set to around 275. This goes for about 10 to 15 minutes to cook this through softly. At about 70% of the way cooked through, I'm pulling the omelet out and adding the toppings this time in more of a grid situation. Starting with the sausage and pepperoni omelet. On the right, my left, goes the carrot and pea omelet with the baby carrots and baby peas. Actually, I think baby peas are just peas. And on one edge of the pan, I'm laying down a couple more slices of American cheese for the cheese omelet. And on the other end of the sheet tray, I'm laying down strawberry jam followed by strawberries. Pretty sure I'm going to regret this, but this would not be Neopets if there wasn't something weird. This striped version of the giant omelet now returns to the oven for about another five minutes so that it can finish cooking through and everything is set. But now that all the toppings have baked in, it's time to slice. I decided to use a pizza cutter to cut through this nice and cleanly without damaging the sill pad. The omelets you get from the giant omelet all have a signature rectangular shape, so to achieve that, I'm going to fold each of these into thirds. Omelets can be fed to Neopets three times before disappearing from your inventory, so doing a triple fold with each omelet kind of makes sense. And after each one is tucked and squared away, I present to you four of the omelets from Neopets. 
the carrot and pea omelet, the cheese omelet, the sausage and pepperoni omelet, and the strawberry omelet. I gotta say, looking at this shape does give me a lot of nostalgia. Coming home after school, playing mini games for Neo Points, you know, refreshing the money tree page for free donations, and getting really excited when you magically stumble upon a paintbrush. But the real question is, how do these omelets taste? First up, the carrot and pea omelet. Yep, uh, that's a little weird. Okay. How about the cheese omelet? Hmm, okay. Sausage and pepperoni omelet? Now this one's, this, this is a good omelet. I like this one. And finally, my most anticipated one, the strawberry one. Oh. I'm gonna need some of those other omelets back. I was feeling satiated, and now I'm angry. I actually have been playing Neopets for the past three weeks every single day, and I will say, it still slaps pretty hard. Anybody wanna send me some code stones? 